Dijiste que no es el sello italiano. Sí. Oh. No, esperemos a la teacher, ya se va okay. a conectar. Sí, yo te dije. Chavo del ocho que oíste. El día sí pasó lo mismo. Sí, el chavo del ocho que oíste, como dice que este recorden en prosa. No, hoy no, solo hay que llegar a una ópera. Oh. Oh. Me va a pasar unos 15 minutos, ya no podemos ir. Me disculpe, chicos, que se me fue la luz dos veces. No se va a Si vamos a, a Erwin o a, o a Warner que le pasen la extensión, porque ellos sí tenían energía eléctrica. <risa> Ay, falta de pago de recibo. Es que está lloviendo fuerte. si no está lloviendo bien fuerte, Urban. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. fuerte. Sí, It's raining hard. Yes, we say in English, it's raining cats and dogs. Ah. Yes. In Spanish, you say, está lloviendo. Anas. Capuz de culebra, decimos aquí. Capuz de culebra, dice. Say cats and dogs. I can't But make it's some frogs. What? <laughs> in the El Salvador, it's raining frogs and snakes. Está muy culebra. Sí, yes, exacto. No, de veras, está teniendo una puerta que hasta me está costando escucharlo. Ok, bueno. Let's continue, guys. As, oh, just wait a second. I have to open up my PowerPoint again because... We cannot hear you, teacher. It's raining so hard. <laughs> <laughs> How convenient. <laughs> What you say? <laughs> What? <laughs> uh, I'm joking, teacher. I'm joking. Okay. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, teacher. All right. You better be. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, oh, my. Okay. Hold on. Okay. All right. So you, sh you should be able to see my power Uh, okay, here we go. This is a conversation that I was trying to get you guys, um, that I was talking about before I, I, I got lost. Um, so, it's a conversation between Ruben and Jenny. So, um, hold on, give me a moment. Okay. So we're going to repeat the conversation. Please listen and repeat after me. So we have, okay, let's check your schedule for today. Okay. Check your schedule for today. All right. All right. All right. All right. You have to start covering. You have to start covering for Gladys. For Gladys. As the hostess today, as the hostess today, from 9 to 11 a.m. From 9 to 11 a.m. Then You can then, go to then, lunch. Then, then you can go, you to, can lunch. go to, lunch. to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. You have to be back at 1 p.m. You have to be back at 1 p.m. That's a nice schedule. Two hours for lunch. That's nice. Yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon. Until 6 p.m. Until 6 p.m. We'll do, Ruben. We'll, we'll do, do, Ruben. do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. Thanks for the reminder. Good, excellent. Okay, I wanted to I, I wanted to uh, make make sure you understand this expression. Uh, in English, this is very common to um, to use this expression. 
will do. What will she do? will do. Anybody have an idea what it will do? Lores. Yeah, exactly. Um, it basically what what it's it's a contraction, right? So instead of saying I will do it, you just say will do. And um, we are we eliminate many words, but that's what it basically means. I will do it. Okay. And you can say I'll do. No. Um, no, you can't say I'll do because we need to say in that case we need to use the the object. I will do what? I will do it, or I will do um, what you tell me, et cetera, et cetera. But so if you add the the subject, you have to use an object as well. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, good, excellent. Okay, in that case, um, let's move on. Um, any questions about the vocabulary or pronunciation? No. Um, hostess, what is the meaning of hostess? Okay, very good question. What is the meaning of hostess? That's is the yes. female host, right? It's the person that organized, maybe like party, or maybe the person that organized uh, one conversation, like this room. Yeah, good. Yeah, we it, but it's for a, a woman, hostess, right? Right. Hostess is for men, and host is for women, or am I? Am hostess I... is for a woman. Ah, okay. <laughs> Uh, yes, you're absolutely right about that. So, all right. Uh, and host for men. So, yeah, host, host for men. Okay, thank it's you. It's for a man and hostess for a woman. Okay. Okay. There you go. All right, just so that you guys are clear about this. Okay. All right. So yes, we talked about this yesterday. So host, um, in the case of a restaurant, is the person, a host or the hostess, in the case of a restaurant, is the person that greets you at the door and um, helps you and like for example, helps you to take a seat, brings you the menu, but they do not take your order. They just give you the menu, okay? And they are your first point of contact when you go into a restaurant, okay? Any other questions about vocabulary? or pronunciation, vocabulary or pronunciation. No? Okay, perfect. All right, so speaking about vocabulary, let's actually do this. Um, um, let me erase this. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's look at this vocabulary. So. Match the names of the staff members to the right descriptions. The staff members are the following. Executive chef, server, host or hostess, kitchen manager, and cashier. Do we understand this vocabulary? Yes. yes. Any questions about what these people do? Mm, executive chef is the person that are in charge of the, of the kitchen, all the personnel of the kitchen. Um, no, that's the kitchen manager. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, the kitchen manager is the one in charge. The executive chef is the one creating menus. Right, the, the executive chef, think of it as like the top chef. Okay, the, the, the chef, mm. the top chef that knows the most about menus, about food, about recipes. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Any other questions? No? Okay, so since you don't have any questions, then let's fill this out. Match these words, these different people to these people, or better said to the, these descriptions. Are we going to do it individually or we can? Um, as a, yeah, individually. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. And it shouldn't take you very long. It's on teacher. Oh, perfect. I don't. Me too. So it shouldn't take you too long. Okay, you guys ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Executive chef. Um, just for the purpose, I'm going to put executive chef. Um, A person. The second one. In charge of creating menus. Managing, managing, managing kitchen, kitchen staff, staff. And for the standards. The standards. Very good. Okay, excellent. So right here, we're gonna put number one. Good, okay. The server is gonna be our number two. A waiter or waitress who attends customers with food and drinks. Wonderful, okay. The host or the hostess will be number three. A person, a person who greets arriving, arriving guests, guests welcomes them into the restaurant and sit them. Perfect. All right. Then we have our kitchen manager, which will be number four. A person who hires staff who takes food and makes sure everyone is trained. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. And finally, we have the cashier, which will be our number five. The, the person handling payments in a restaurant. restaurant. Perfect. All right, excellent. The person handling payments in a restaurant. All right. Questions about this vocabulary? No questions. No questions? You sure? Okay. All right, got it. Okay, so we have come to the end of our class. Um, just making sure that we have our attendance. So just give me a moment while I open up the document that obviously got closed when I disconnected. So just give me a moment. Yeah. Yeah, and De repente se va. I'm gonna, I'm gonna disappear again. Ya me siento. Es que está cayendo. ¿Cómo se llama? Relámpago. Si siento que me voy. Sorry, teacher. If you want to finish present. the class, we are going. It's on the record. Present. Present. <laughs> yeah. Present, teacher. Yeah. Ay, no, qué locura. I'm the last one, so present, teacher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I can see, almost there. Okay, so Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Javi. Present teacher. 
Andres? Present teacher. All right. Um, uh, Dennis, no, right? Edgar Menjivar? Present teacher. Okay, uh, teacher Lenny? Uh, Urban? Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Fabiola? Fabiola, no. Uh, Heidi? Present teacher. Irene? Present teacher. Ivan? Present teacher. All right. Josue? Present teacher. All right. Juan Francisco? Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Jury? Present teacher. Okay. Luis? Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Manuel Alejandro? I guess not. Natalia? Present teacher. Wendy? Present. Excellent. Werner? Present teacher. Yvonne? Present. Okay. Edgar Enriquez? Eli? Jose Montes? And Jose Ayala? Present teacher. All right, okay, hoy sí, hoy sí, ya quedó en el record. Okay, but entonces, chicos, just make sure that you do, um, you do the homework. Uh, also, I will be updating um, the, um, the forums, okay? So make sure you also write in the forums um, so that you guys can get more practice. And that will be all, um, just a hobby. Um, we have uh, the one-on-one -on -one session today, okay? Okay, thank you. Well, that's it, guys. Take care. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you. Good See you, everybody. See you. Sorry, is session with me or Werner? Yes, I don't no, know. Uh, with ah. you. Werner, do you have any questions? No, no teachers yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, I never. It's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Javi, um, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estamos? Bien. Sí, okay. Um, all right, what can I help you with? Y, y no, o sea, no tiene que ser necesariamente del curso, en sí, sino que cualquier cosa que, que esté teniendo problemas, que le ponga, que le pueda ayudar. Ok, no, teacher, ahorita todo bien. Sí, a veces me siento que, por ejemplo, siento que mucha gente está muy avanzada. Entonces, eh, no sé si estoy bien en este curso o irme uno más bajito, porque a veces siento que no estoy al nivel que los demás. Entonces, es como... No sé. ¿Qué siento que eh, al nivel de los demás? Ah, porque siento que ellos hablan con bastante fluidez. Esa parte es como que siento que es rapidito, encuentran las palabras y las, y las dicen súper rápido. Y yo siento que todavía ese proceso se me da más lentamente. O siento que quizás en mi cabeza mucho hago lo de como traducir, ¿verdad? en la cabeza como trato de pensar... No pienso en inglés, sino que pienso en español y trato de, de traducirlo. Okay. Aparte del montón de problemas de pronunciación que usted sabe que tengo. <risa> no, no, Javi, pero le, sabe que le voy a comentar algo para que usted vea que, uh, os, me ha dicho, para que no se sienta mal, porque realmente no, no hay por qué sentirse mal. Siem, casi siempre en estas, este tipo de sesiones, Resulta que me dicen lo, casi lo mismo. O sea, que en otras palabras, usted no es la única que piensa que otros están más avanzados. Pero lo curioso es de que esos otros que usted piensa que están avanzados, quizás ellos mismos. Piensan lo mismo. Exacto. Ahí está el punto. A eso quiero llegar, que a veces nosotros podemos sentirnos como... Um, Sí, tal vez que, que no estamos preparados y todos, porque no vemos tal vez 
el, no, o no, no sabemos realmente lo que está pasando con la otra persona, qué está pasando por su mente, qué, qué cosas eh, son sus, sienten que son sus debilidades, y entonces están luchando, esta persona está luchando, pero ahí está, lo, lo siguen haciendo. Entonces, desde nuestro punto de vista, lo está haciendo excelente, maravilloso, pero del, del punto de vista de él o ella, está así como, ay, o sea, todo nervioso y todo, pero solamente él o ella lo sabe. Entonces, le digo esto porque puede ser que esa persona que usted piensa que está bien avanzada y todo, eh, pues en realidad, pues siempre le cuesta y simplemente no lo demuestra. Pero, pero yo creo que yo, yo eh, Javi, lo he visto ahí su progreso, solamente pues hemos estado en este curso sola una, una vez juntas, ¿verdad? Pero uh, siento que usted va por un buen camino porque veo mucha participación de su parte para empezar. Y eso es la clave. Esa es la clave, Javi. Estar constantemente participando, ¿verdad? Sí, porque, eh, bueno, a mí siento yo que lo que más me está costando o lo que me ha costado, porque siento que llevo tanto tiempo y tanto tiempo metiéndome a cursos y, y, y me pongo a ver en la tele, la he puesto en inglés, me pongo a ver series en inglés, pero siento que la hablada es como no puedo. O sea, yo puedo ver algo y tal vez entenderle a la persona, a menos que hable muy rápido que no lo entiendo, eh, o puedo leer algo y lo entiendo, pero llegan a hablarme y yo me quedo en blanco, no sé qué decir y solo la situación de hablar me estresa tanto que me quedo en blanco entonces trato la manera de aunque sea leer o participar porque siento yo que aunque sea eso me va a ir como quitando un poquito el temor a hablarlo porque eso siento que es como el área que más me cuesta no significa que en las demás áreas sea excelente, solo que en esa área de hablar sí me cuesta un montón entonces, quizás porque como yo sé que esa parte me cuesta y escucho a los demás hablar tan bien o, o que se desenvuelven bien hablando y encontrando las palabras que yo digo, hijo de o sea, no, yo no, no, no puedo hacer eso que esas otras personas hacen. Uh -huh. Porque sí, hasta, hasta improvisan, hasta improvisan en inglés, que eso para mí es como, wow. <risa> Pero sí, lo que pasa es, una, una de las cosas más importantes es la práctica, ¿verdad? Entre más tiempo, más práctica hay, más, o sea, entre más uno se expone el idioma, más rápido va a ir agarrando las cosas, ¿verdad? Eh, entonces, pre pregunta, Javier, antes de este curso, ¿estuvo usted practicando inglés en otro lugar o de otra forma? Sí, yo estuve, yo solita como tratando de aprender. Luego me metí al de la Universidad Nacional. Uh -huh. Ese lo hice completito, completito. Yo ahí sí sentí que aprendí un montón. O sea, yo, yo, yo ya me... Pero como dejé de practicarlo, o sea, en el grado que yo enseño, es súper básico lo que se enseña, colores, partes. O sea, 